uh, Wally Martin here from uh, Langley, BC, and I'm uh, just here in my uh, organic garden, which I'm uh, happy to say uh, feeds us for uh, a good part of the year with the beautiful uh, fresh produce. You can see it all right here. And uh, in this uh, garden, there's only sunshine and soil and compost and rain. We have not added any chemicals. There are no man-made uh, uh, fertilizers or pesticides or herbicides or anything else on any of this food. This, this has been around for 500 million years and uh, I'm quite happy to eat stuff that's been around for 500 million years. I'm not happy to eat stuff that's had chemicals added to it that have been invented just in the last generation of, uh, of biotech uh, industry. And uh, one thing that's happened uh, is we're very fortunate that uh, we now have the opportunity to test ourselves for uh, glyphosate, which is the most uh, commonly used chemical in agriculture all across this country, Canada, all across America, and unfortunately in uh, <coughs> some, uh, some other countries in the world. And uh, by testing ourselves for this, we can make sure that uh, we're uh, going to uh, stay on target to eat the things that do not contain glyphosate. Thank you. As I stand here in the rain, it makes me think of the 2011 government-funded study done in the Mississippi Corn Belt showing that glyphosate is present in 75% of the rain samples. And it makes me wonder, is it raining Roundup on me right now? Is it raining Roundup on my vegetable garden? We don't know. The government's not testing for it. If you have questions like these and you'd like to have answers to them, you can email us at glyphosate.testing at gmail.com and get your name on the list to be a tester. Hmm. What am I doing? I'm eating a piece of toast. The thing is, it was made from bread that's organic ingredients, sprouted from whole grains, high in fiber, vegan and no dairy, non-GMO and no artificial preservatives. The thing is, I still don't know whether this bread has traces of glyphosate in it or not. Glyphosate is, is the poison in, in Monsanto's Roundup and I don't know if it is there or not. And why don't I know? Because there is no one in Canada, the government has never tested it. There's no lab in Canada set up to test these things and we don't know how much of this glyphosate poisoning is in our food and in our water, in our, in our, in our body, in our urine and so on. How much of it is gotten into the breast milk of nursing mothers. So you know something? We, the Canadians, are going to test for it ourselves. At our cost, in our initiative, bypassing the whole political process of this country. You know, stop looking at me, join us and get yourself tested and then you can have your bread probably in peace. Thank you.